it is time to start creating our chart. So I'm going to click on this pivot table and go to pivot table analyze, go to pivot chart. There are several types of charts here. You can select the one that matches, but you will see if it's applicable or not. For example, if I click on this, I can create this kind of chart for that graph. So I want to create a bar chart. I'll click on this. I'm fine with this. I'll click on OK. So it has inserted the chart so easy. Yep. Um, I'm going to remove all these uh, axes, hide off it buttons on the map, uh, on the chart. The uh, legend, I'm going to remove it by clicking on this plus, you know, and check this to remove legend. And I want to remove the line, remove grid lines. And um, chart tie too, I want to remove it as well. Okay, this is fine. And even the axis, I want to remove, uh, no, not that one. Nope, I'll bring it back. Right. Okay, so with this, of course, you see that the, they're actually very, very tiny and I want to reduce them to top five. Okay, let's filter them to top five. Instead of 10, I just have five here. Okay, you see they're a bit bigger now. And I'm also going to do the same thing to the pre bottom five. Value filter top 10 is bottom, but it's going to be bottom five. Okay. Other things I can do is I might want to increase the width of this chart. You know, it's not as big as all, uh, you know, the space is even bigger than all these charts. By clicking on the bar and right click, sorry, I have to make sure I click on everything. Click on this, yep. Right click and go to format data series. So you're going to see this thing at the right hand side there. I can just put it at 65. Then the chart become bigger. I come back here, you see they're now bigger now and I like this. So this is fine. And what can I do to this guy? I can just cut Control X to cut it and come to my dashboard and place it anywhere here. You know, I'm still coming back here. So this is this. Go back to analysis. Do the same thing for the bottom five and go to pivot table analyze. Go to pivot chart. This time around, I might want to use this type of chart. Yep. And not the bar. Let me just use the column one, the cluster column and click OK. Same thing. I'm going to hide all feed buttons. Remove the legend, remove grid lines, then click, even remove total. And I'm going to remove chart title, which is total at the top there. Click on the bar, right click and go to format data series and turn this guy to 65. That should be fine. No, they're even bigger now. Awesome. I also want to add data label so that they can data label. Yep. That put the value on top. Now I'm going to, um, control Z. Oh, control Y, Y. Okay. Then I'm going to select the entire chart, cut it, then place it here. Gradually, we are building a dashboard. You still see how it works. And, um, all the things I want to do at this, I can use line chart for this, um, year so that I can see how things progress over the year or even use a bar chart. So go back to pivot table analyze, bar chart. I think I will use this to see it's a cumulative thing. So, let me see. I can't use waterfall. Um, yep. It's a cumulative thing. I can't even use, um, Instagram. So let me go ahead and use the same bar, but I can use the bender one. Okay. So click on OK. And then, yep. Do all the things I need to do. Add all feeds. Click here to remove the chart title, to remove the grid lines, to remove the legend. Click on one of the bar, right click and go to format data series, then change this guy to like 65. And that should be fine. Okay. I can cut this guy now. Click on it. Control X to cut. Drop it here. Alright, so this is it. Go back to analyze. Then this row here, I might even want to leave it like this or expand it. Uh, let me go to pivot table here and drag year. I want to see the value by year, put year on columns. So I can see, I uh, like this table, and maybe I want to reformat this table and use it. So I can take this table directly to my chart. All right, fine. Um, take this table, Control C, I can copy, come here, I'm gonna paste it somewhere, because I'll be using it at the end, Control V. All right. So, um, yeah, we, are, we have this. And I also have some value that I want to reference. For example, um, this value right here, some confirmed, um, some of that and the rates. So I can come here and um, put in here, I can put in equal sign because I want to reference the value here. 
So what is the value here? This is the sum confirm. Press enter. The sum confirm is already here. And I'm going to just turn it to number. Nope. The space needs to be wide enough to actually capture the scientific. No, nope. turn it to number. And um, remove the decimal places. Okay, good. Put a comma to it. And I can write here, confirmed. Okay, I'm going to write in a test. But let me just put here, total, confirmed. Then I'm going to have total, that. Put a equal sign, then go to the analysis and select that number and is here and also rates i'm gonna put here rate equal sign here come back to analysis select the rate enter and for this year i might still want to change the data maybe i am not just uh okay with it i can change it in case i want to put it in the line chart but i think i'm fine with this data table yep i want to put in here data label so that we know what value you know falls there okay all right so um let's just assume this is what you want to do now i'm still going to draw the analysis data but i'm done with this now and in the next video we will be customizing this dashboard you know you now start to design this environment and make it look so good thank you